Hey guys. Hi. All right. So today I'm going to let everyone kind of get in. Um, so today we need our weights. We are going to do the same format that we did the last couple weeks. So it's going to be cardio. It's going to be strength. We have 45 seconds each exercise. I think that's a little bit more doable than that minute. Um, we'll do each exercise three times through. So we're going to start with just lower body. Then we'll go to just upper body and then we'll finish out with our abs. So that's where we're at. We'll get started in about two minutes. So yep, just grab your normal stuff. All right, we got about one minute left. Then we'll get a quick warm up. And my name is Leslie, and this is HIT. Um, and it's going to be about an hour. You can always leave if you need to leave. I completely understand. I know that there's things to do. Um, just make sure that you always get your stretching in. I know some people kind of like to leave right before we stretch or right before you do abs. It's up to you. Um, but yeah, we'll get started in about one minute. All right, it's that time. Make sure you have your weights. Keep them close by. Uh, I grabbed, where are these? 12, 10? I grabbed 10s today. So they're going to be for your upper body and your lower body. You can always switch out if you need to. Um, everything is always optional. You can always modify. You can always do just body weight. At this point, right, in our fitness endeavor, body weight is probably enough um, until we get back there, until we get back to the gym. But have them close by if you need them. Um, if I do look at my watch, I'm not checking text messages and I'm not checking the time. This is my timer. So if you've never been to my class, I use this as my timer. It's just easier for me, especially with no music. All right, let's go ahead. Let's just warm it up. Just down and up. Squeeze. Now add those arms out and back, out and back, down, squeeze. Four more, three, two, hold it down right here and pulse. A little up an inch, down an inch. Three more, two, we're gonna take it side to side, side to side, down nice and low. We're still in that squat. Now add a little punch right here, reach. Two, punch, one, Two, punch. One, two, up. Last set. One more. Now just punch, punch, reach, reach. Try getting one side of the room to the other side of the room. We really make it big. We're working on that core. So it's twist. Four more. Three. Last one, take it down. Add in that little side lateral lunge. Trying to get side to side. Touch the ground. We have four more. Three, two, add a hop. Four more, keep going. Three, two and one we're gonna walk it out take that plank we're gonna twist and twist walk it back and reach up walk it out twist all right last one 
Walk it out, big twist. Bring it up. Now add high knees, high and wide. All right, stay here, add a little hop. Slowly bring them to the middle. All right, high knees right here. Take it up, full blast. Keep going. You have four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and grab some water and find your weight. Sorry, I'm adjusting that camera. Sometimes I just see my head pop off and on. All right, so we're gonna do strength cardio. 45 seconds each. Each exercise we'll do three times through. We're gonna work on just our legs for the first two sets. So we have a good morning to reverse lunge. Hold your weights right here. We're just reaching over. It's not a full deadlift. It's just down, up, reverse. Down, up, reverse. We have 45 seconds. Go. I know some of you started, that's okay. Now during these good mornings, that's what they're called, suck that belly in. We're trying to get our back. We're getting the back of our legs. I feel it in my chest, I feel it in my quads. On that reverse lunge, that knee is hovering one inch off the ground. You're almost done, one more. All right, go ahead and put those weights to the side. So your hands are right here. It's knee, knee, ankle, ankle, knee, knee, ankle, ankle. Looks like this, up, up. Ready, go. Knee, knee, ankle, ankle. Keep going. You have 20 seconds left. Get those knees up nice and high. Remember, you can always take it down a notch. Almost done. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and grab a quick break. We're gonna do those two exercises two more times through. Pick up those weights. You have the option. Just one way. Down, up, reverse, or body weight. Right here. Ready? 45 seconds. Go. Keep going, you got 20 more seconds. It gets so dark with the clouds. Down, up. 10 more seconds, get that knee almost to the ground. That lunge is just important, is that dip. Last one. And break. All right, we're going right into those knee, knee, heel, heel. Ready, go. I 
I love the modifications. I can see some of them right here. Last 10, nine, keep going. I can see you, don't give up. Four more, three, two, and one. Quick break, find those weights. We're gonna do those two exercises one more time through. All right, pick up those weights. One weight, two weights, or no weights. Ready, go. Suck that belly in. This is our last set with these exercises. Can you get that knee one inch off the ground? Get it as low as you can. We don't have any more lunges the rest of the workout. You have 10 more seconds. One more. All right, done with those. Let's get our heart rate up. Ready? Knee, knee, heel, heel, go. Up, up. You have 20 seconds right here. 30 second recovery is right in front of you. Pick up those knees, pick up that pace. What do you got left? 15 seconds when you want to be zone three, breathless. Pick it up, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. All right, 30 seconds right here. Grab some water, wipe your sweat off, and we'll get ready for our next set. All right, this next exercise. You're still in recovery, catching your breath. It's a traveling squat. So with or without weight, you're getting low. You're taking it over. One. If you have more access and you don't have all this nonsense, take it as long as you can. It's side to side. We do not come up. We are in that squat the entire time. All right, grab one weight, grab two weights, grab no weights. Ready? Go. Can you get a little bit lower? You have 20 seconds. Last set, three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, we have a little jump squat with a crisscross. And so it looks like this, up, cross, cross, cross. And then get your arms in. Ready, go. I was doing it right. There we go. Get a little bit lower. This is meant for like torture. Right after those traveling squats, we want to get low. You got it. Ten, nine. Four more, three, two, one. All right, quick recovery. We will do those two exercises two more times. So pick up those weights, 
One weight, two weights, or no weights. 45 seconds, ready? Let's get low, go. Nice and low. You're sitting in that chair. One more, two, three, and rest. It's funny because I just see you guys all in these little squares and your little heads are just going back and forth. All right, it's a squat with a crisscross. Go up, cross. Keep going. You have 10 more seconds to get just a little bit lower and pick up that pace. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we get to do that one more time. All right, grab one weight, two weights, no weights. It's up to you. Ready, go, nice and low. We are not getting up, we're staying lower. It's the last time, so we're getting even lower. You have 10 more seconds. Everyone drop that butt down two inches. Go low. I see your little heads. A Little bit lower. Three, two, and one. All right. Squat with the crisscross. Ready? Go. Down. Almost done. All right, now pick up that pace. You got 10, nine, make it fast. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, 30 seconds recovery. Grab some water. All right, we are, so we got two leg strength exercises, so we're gonna take it into the arms. So find those arm weights. For me, it's just gonna be the same. We are going to do biceps, but each round is gonna be a little bit different. Let me restart my timer. All right, the first 45 seconds, crescents up like this. Suck your belly button in. Big circle. So right now we're working our biceps, obviously. We're working them a little bit differently than a normal bicep curl. Suck that belly in. If you want a little bit more, you can add a calf raise up and down. Uh, 
Keep going. Three, two, and one. All right, put those weights down. This one, all right, we're taking it cardio. We have a star jack with a little, I don't know, I, everyone calls it a little bit something, so let's take this. Out, side, out, side, out. So it's almost like a star jack, like a surfer. Star jack, surfer. You don't like that star jack? Right here. Ready? Go. It's your workout. You do what works best for you. This is always fun. All right, you have 15 seconds. Whatever you're doing, pick up that pace. Whew. Four. Three, keep going. Two, and one. Find those weights. This time, we're holding it out like we're serving a tray. Right here. So it's up, up. Ready? Suck that belly in. Three, two, go. Out, out, out. This is a tough one, which is why we're alternating. You can always take a little break, shake it out, bring them back up. Almost done. Three, two more sets, and one. Ooh. Put those weights down. All right, back to that star jack or regular jack to a circler. Ready, go. All right, you have 15 seconds. What do you got left? Start emptying that tank. If you gotta take it down to a jack to get through it, do it. Ready? You have four, three, two, and one. All right, one more set. All right, we're taking it aside across your chest. Ready? Go. Oh, my timer. So again, we're working that bicep, just a different angle. Make sure your belly button is sucked in. Want a little bit more. You can always add those calf raises. All the way to the end, four more sets. Four, three, two, last set. All right, set those weights down. All right, last time. Jack into a surfer, star jack or regular jack. Ready, go.
Get nice and low. All right, you have 15 more seconds. It's the last time for these. Pick up your pace. Nice long recoveries right in front of you. You got five. Don't quit. Four, three, two, and one. All right, 30 seconds. Grab some water, towel off, and then we're gonna take it down. We're gonna get some chest in. All right, we still have about 15 more seconds, but start taking it slowly down. We're gonna get a chest lie and a chest press. So you wanna go heavy, try to go with those legs. Don't be afraid to go heavy. So it's two flies, fly, fly, and then we're pressing, press, press. All right. Three, two, one, go. Nice big fly. Your arms are fully extended. Nice press. Keep going, you have three, two, and one. All right, our cardio, we're starting up on the floor. Clear out your little area. So it's just a plank jack with a half burpee. It looks like this. So we have one, two, three, pop up. One, two, three, pop up. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So your goal when you're popping up is to stay nice and low. Your elbows are basically on top of your knees. You're sucking your belly in. We're starting to warm up that core for what we have coming up. Those plank jacks, are, our shoulders should be on fire. You have 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, find those weights. Back to those flies. On your fly, your lower back is glued into that mat. It's a full extension. Make that wingspan nice and wide and then those presses all the way up. Ready? Go. You're almost done. One more set. Two flies, two presses. And then finagle yourself back up and break. All right, we have those plank jacks. This time taking it as wide as you possibly can. It's three, two, one, pop up. Are we ready? and go. Finish. 
15 more seconds. Suck that belly in. Try to pop up as quick as you can. Hold it for one second, pop right back. In four, three, two, and one. All right, one more time for these exercises. Are we ready? Nice fly, nice press, go. You're almost done. One more set, each one. Nice fly, right into a press. And break. All right, we're gonna take that cardio and then we have one more round before we take it to abs. All right. Ready, plank jack with a flip. Go, three. Two, one, up. You are almost done. Fifteen seconds. Five, keep going, four, three, two, and one. All right, we have done this before in the actual studio. So let me show you where we're at. We, I call this like, it's a hamstring curl. You need one weight. You're popping it in between your shoes. So if you look at the bottoms of your shoes, you have this little area right there. That's where you're popping the weight. If you've come to my class, then you know exactly what I'm doing. But if you haven't, so that it looks just like this. And then we're gonna take it down. It's right here. We're taking it down and up, down and up. I'm gonna give you guys some time to finagle it. So you're trying to tap that weight on the ground, Bring it back up. Are we ready? Go. Try to push your hip bones, your lower abs into the floor. Only your glutes and your hamstrings are working right here. All right, hold it to your lowest point and pulse, pulse, pulse. Up an inch, down an inch, four, three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, meet me at the top. Oh, that light is coming in bright. Grab some water if you need it. Let me just shut this window. All right, it was like all of a sudden the sun came through. All right, we've done this before. We're taking quick feet in and out, in and out. When I say go, you reach for the top. Are you ready? And go. So it's quick feet right here. Go, you reach, back to it. Go. 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 All right, all the way to the end, get those knees a little bit higher, swing those arms, 
We have four, three, two, and one. All right, come right back down. Find that weight. Start to finagle it between those feet. All right, are you ready? 45 seconds now, down and up. All right, hold it down to your lowest point and pulse, pulse. My legs are on fire right now. Keep going. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Those get me every time. All right, pop back up, quick feet. These are like little football players. Ready, go. Go. Make them quicker. Go. 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 All right, all the way to the end, five. Keep going, four. Get those knees higher, three, two, one. One more round, and then we get to take it to our abs. All right, give you two more seconds. Ready, go, down and up. Taking it down as low as you can, nice, slow and controlled. Three more, two, Hold it down right here and pulse, pulse. Up an inch, down an inch. We still have 10 seconds right here. Eight, six, four, two, and one. All right, bring it back up. This is our last cardio of class. We're gonna go into high knees. So we're leaving the quick feet behind. We have high knees. Right here, up, up, up. When I say go, you explode, ready? Three, two, one. So it's like a nice big jog. Go, go. Get those knees a little bit higher. Really pump those elbows, go. Go, go. 20 more seconds. Drive those elbows, get those knees up nice and high. Go, go, go. All right, all the way to the end. Sprint it to the end. Finish it up. You have less than 10, nine. Keep going, four, three, two, and one. All right, grab some water. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and meet me down on your mat, on your carpet, whatever you got going. If you've never taken my virtual class, then you will know that I kind of stop in the middle just so I can kind of watch you guys. It's a lot easier for me to cue talking to the camera than talking to my high ceilings. All right, you need one weight close by. 
We're gonna work our glutes first. We're not gonna get too much more into our hamstrings, but we are gonna get our glutes. So go ahead and take that weight on top of your hip bones. We're taking it, squeeze, resist. Squeeze, resist. Ready? And go. So this is our ab portion. Things will be a little bit longer than 45 seconds. We kind of just go from one exercise to the next. Squeeze and tuck with those abs. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze and tuck. We have four more. Four, three, really squeeze. Two, we're not done. Hold it up here and pulse, pulse, pulse. Up an inch, down an inch. All your weight is in your heels. Try to lift those toes up in your shoes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, put your weight to the side for right now. We will get it in just a little bit. We're gonna start with the dead bug. So our legs are in tabletop, our arms are up. So we're taking the opposite leg to opposite arms. So it's right here. It's a nice full extension of that leg. Lower back is glued into the mat. Right now, we are kind of warming up our entire abdominal system. We're getting our lower abs as we drop that leg. We're getting our lats and our upper abs with those arms. Holding our knees up is getting that six pack. And it's working your brain, which is hard to do on a Thursday evening. Keep going, you got four more. Three, two, and one. All right, take your legs right up in the air, bottoms of your feet facing the ceiling. We're taking them out, cross, out, cross, right here. When you're ready, slowly start to take those legs down. And up, down, and up. Making sure that your lower back is glued to the mat the entire time. So if that means you can only take your legs down six inches, then just take them down six inches. Push that lower back into the ground. Try to make that, those legs as wide as you can. Crisscrossing opposite, left over right, right over left. Now, hold it down to your lowest point right here and take it out, in, out, in for 10. Nine, eight. We're almost done. Four, three, two, and one. Give yourself a little break. When you're ready, find that weight. We're going to take our legs up in the air, bottoms of your feet facing the ceiling. We're taking this weight to the outsides. So usually we go right up to the toes. This time we're taking it to the outside of the toe. Out, 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 out. Yes. Side to side. This is when I get to see everybody's cute shoes. Side to side. So right now we're starting to get into our obliques, but we're really working on that six pack, that nice long muscle right down the middle. You're almost done. You got four more sets. Three, two, we're not done now. Hold it up, right up to your toes. Hold it up, hold it up and up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. You got it, up, 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 five. Keep going, four, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and drop your legs. Keep that weight. We're gonna bend our knees, our feet are right on the floor. We're taking that weight overhead, right here. Count to 10, nine, eight, seven, six. And then you're gonna bring it up. Take it back, count to 10. Bring it up, 
Really think about pressing that lower back into the ground. Take it back. Concentrating on contracting those ab muscles. All right, three more at your own pace. One more. This is working your lats. We're also getting our upper back. And while your abs contracting, every single muscle in your core is working. When you're done with that last one, go ahead and pop the weights to your side, to the side. All right, shake it out a little bit. Bring those legs up in the air. We're gonna take it down one at a time. Down and up. Getting into those lower abs. Right now you're concentrating on straightening out that leg as much as you can, micro bend in the knee, nothing too big, and you're hovering one inch above the ground, bring it up, take it down. Your lower back is glued into that mat. It's almost like you're tucking your pelvis in to press it down. We're working on that lower set of abs and we're getting our transverse abdominis. That's our very first layer of abs. Keep going. For a lot of people, these are easier. So that means we got to do it a little bit longer. I don't know if we have any new mamas in the class, but this is a great thing to do to start to get that abdominal wall back up and running. We have four more sets. Three. Two. And one. All right, give yourself a little break. Now this one's gonna look really awkward on camera, but you know, it is what it is. We're taking our toes right here, or our heels. Take your heels together and take it down and up, down and up. Your heels are touching. This is not only working our lower abs, it's also a nice inner thigh work. So taking those knees apart and bringing them back up together, especially after a hard leg workout, you'll feel these a little bit more. Give me 10 more. Nine. Two and one. All right, we're gonna get into our obliques. So your feet are, bottoms of your feet are on the floor and we're taking it side to side, reaching for the side or the back of your shoe, side to side. Your shoulder blades are about six inches off the ground. Think about your body rocking back and forth. You're almost done, five more. Four, warming up our obliques for bicycles coming next. Two and one. All right, bicycle crunches. We start with them very nice and slow. So bicycle crunch looks like this. Nice and slow. Now listen to my cues, take that straight leg, extend it all the way. It's hovering one inch off the ground. The opposite knee is driving into your elbow. So it's left, right, left, right. Think about every single move you do. You're looking at one side of the room, then the next side of the room. You guys look great. Sometimes going nice and slow and controlled is more difficult than it is to go fast. You're almost done. Four more sets, three, Two, last one, and we're gonna pick up that pace. Go, now left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep the same form, just work on that speed. Left, right, 
left, right for five. Keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Little break. All right, your legs are up in the air one more time. We are almost done and then we get to flip it over. We're gonna work on our back. We'll hit our plank and we'll be done. We have about six more minutes of abs. So stick with me. All right, legs are up in the air. These are windshield wipers. We've done them before. We're taking it side to side. If you feel like your whole body is flopping over from one side to the other side, put a little bend in those knees. Side to side. Your goal is basically, basically to control your legs with just your core muscles, keeping your shoulder blades glued to the ground. I always say mat. Now in class, in a couple weeks, I'm gonna be staying on your carpet, but we'll be in the studio. It's all very hard. All right, side to side. We have eight more. Seven. Three more. All right, come, come ahead and sit up. Join me on your sits bones. That's your butt bones. Take a weight. We've done this one before. Weight, water bottle, whatever you got in front of you. You can kick over the camera, I don't care. We're taking it side to side, right up here. Up, touch, and go. Touch, and go. Or take it side to side. You can take it nice and slow. Right now, I just want your lower abs activated. Suck everything in, bring that belly button to the side. Touch and go, you guys look beautiful. We're almost done. 10 more, nine. Almost done, four more sets, three. Two, and one. Those hurt my quads more than my abs. All right, we're gonna work on our lower back and we're gonna get in our planks. So we've done these before. We're gonna go straight to the full Superman. So sometimes we break it up and do upper and lower. We're gonna go straight to the full Superman. We got a minute here. So it looks like this. Up and down, up and down. Ready, go. Try to come up onto those hip bones. Those thighs wanna come up at least an inch off the ground. Really feel that pinch in the lower back. We have four more. Three, two, we're not done. Hold it up here and swim. Take those legs up a little bit higher. Five, keep going. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna come into plank. So we have our full plank, our shoulders are over our elbows, our elbows are over our wrists. We're looking down at your fingertips. You can come onto your elbows, hold it like this or hold it straight out. Your forearms look like the number 11. We're gonna be here for one minute, all right? Your goal, Full plank or elbow plank without dropping to your knees for the first 30 seconds. Are you ready? Go. Now press your palms into the ground. Pull apart your shoulder blades. Suck your belly in. Squeeze your glutes. Flex those feet. All right, 30 seconds, we're halfway done.
Hold it here for 10, nine, four, three, two, and one. All right, we have a side plank. Lots of options here. Hips are in the air, your feet can be stacked, they can be split, leg up in the air, or take a knee down. Ready, 45 seconds, go. Your body is one solid line. Bring that belly button in. All right, you have 20 more seconds. Take it down and up. Dip those hips up and down, up, up. Keep going, you have 10, almost done. Suck that belly in. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch out the other side. All right, we have one more side plank, then we're gonna take one more plank together in the middle. So we have less than two minutes. Ready? Go. Right now we have less than two minutes of work. The best thing about doing plank at the end of the workout is your muscles are tired. Think about the last hour of work we've done together. Your muscles are tired. So tensing them up right here is basically squeezing everything they have left and making them stronger. Suck the belly in, hold it right here. All right, 20 seconds, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. It's like the icing on the cake. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we have one more minute. We're gonna meet in plank every 20 seconds. We're gonna do something a little bit different. Right here. We're taking our left arm out and our right leg up. So it's up, up. Your goal is to not let those hips shake. Nice and controlled. Four, three, two, one. All right, hold it right here. We're taking it down knees and up, down and up. Five, keep going, four, three, two, one. Last 20 seconds, it's a twist, reach and down. Stamp the ceiling with the palm of your hand. We're almost done, keep going. We have four, three, two, and one. You did it, come on into child's pose. Now, if you have to get off, which I know a lot of people do because you have children, dogs, everything going on, make sure you stretch. If you're here with me for the next four minutes, give yourself a break, big deep breath. Let those hips fall in between those heels, stretch your fingertips out one more inch and just relax. When you're ready, take your left arm, thread it under your right. Switch it out, other side, right arm, thread it under your left. All right, come on up. Come up to your toes and slowly lift your hips and walk your hands back in between those feet and just drop your head and hang right here. Rock side to side. All right, bring it up one vertebrae at a time. 
we're gonna stretch with the runner's lunge. So right here, so take one leg out. Go ahead and take your right leg out. Drop that back knee and push those hips forward. You should feel it in your hip flexor right here. I don't know about you all, but I've been trying to run a little bit more just to keep in shape and it is taking a toll on my joints. All right, go ahead and take it back. All of your weight is on that back foot. Pop that toe up and pull on those toes. All right, when you're ready, come up. Both hands on both sides of that front foot and lift that knee. All right, let's switch it out, other side. Drop that back knee, push those hips forward. Feel that stretch right here. Thank you so much. Make sure you're stretching. All right, take it back. Pull on those toes. All right, now take, all, take your palms on both sides, lift that back knee. All right, bring that back foot up, meet me at the top. Let's get your quads and we'll get you out of here. All right, grab that back foot or grab your toes. Make sure your hips are in line. There's just so much jumping in this class. We gotta make sure we stretch those quads. All right, take that ankle, across your knee. Take it down nice and low, point and flex. All right, switch it out. Make sure your knees are in line. All right, ankle across your knee, take it down, point and flex. All right. Come right here, big deep breath all the way down. Reach and release. Thank you all so, so much for being here. My name is Leslie. We will see you guys same time next week. All right, same format, just different exercises. Have a wonderful evening, guys.